How's it going? I'm Brandon. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I know you were talking about hosting one of our Bitcoin ATMs. I don't know anything about Bitcoin. Okay. All you need to do is provide the space, we install the machine, and you get a check each month for the transactions processed. We even handle the customer support. Brandon Mintz is the CEO of Bitcoin Depot, an Atlanta company that distributes Bitcoin ATMs across the country. Machines like his are the only places where you can use paper money to purchase digital currency. Okay, so show me how this works. Tap the screen and click Buy Coins. So we'll just go ahead and choose the lowest option. You can buy $20 to $1,000. So here now it displays how much Bitcoin you're going to get. You're going to get 0 0.00152243 Bitcoin. So it's about worth about $13 now what I have in here. Does that sound right? $20. Yeah, it'd be worth about $13 now. That's because Bitcoin Depot took seven of the $20 after markups and fees. He estimates that in total, his machines take in tens of millions of dollars every year. A host store, he says, can expect to make a few hundred bucks a month on average and attract more customers in the process. You put physical money in, but then it goes into the space where everything is ephemeral and there, there is no physical money. Is that, that seems like it puts you in a unique position. Right, yeah, it's definitely interesting how we're selling a digital product. But the thing is, when you can actually touch this machine and know that there's a real company behind it versus just a random website that can vanish at any time, it gives you this sense of trust and credibility that this company is legitimate. The number of Bitcoin ATM machines worldwide has tripled since 2017. There are now more than 3,000 according to Coin ATM Radar, a website that maps them. But turning cash into crypto hasn't gone mainstream as a result. Not a single person we saw using a Bitcoin Depot ATM would speak with us, and several even used profanity to emphasize how little they wanted to be filmed. That might be because they're shy, or it might be because they're shady. In the U.S., there's almost no federal or state monitoring of these transactions, which makes it hard to know if they're a portal for small investors or an easy way to launder money. Like, how many people are coming in and, and just sticking $20 in? I don't have exact metrics on demographics, but it's really diverse. I mean, there's low income people using the machines because it's a better source of money transfer than Western Union. Uh, there are investors going to the machine. In this area, this is where customer support and sales go down. We've been here for a little over a year now. Companies like Bitcoin Depot self-report suspicious activity to the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, a bureau within the U.S. Treasury Department created to, quote, determine emerging trends and methods in money laundering and other financial crimes. But there's no independent oversight. Bitcoin Depot has 135 machines in 15 states, and more than a third of them are in Atlanta, including Mintz's first machine in a vape store across the street from Georgia Tech. Big number one, hello. And I've sat and watched people pump 10 grand into that machine, so at, at a time. In two different transactions, because they can only do five grand per per transaction, but twice a day. And who, what kind of people are doing that? Uh, it's all different kinds of people. Um, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of like urban people, and I'd say a lot of strippers. <laughs> really? So we it's get a, a lot of strippers in here. What about like drugs? Are people laundering drug money in the machine? I mean, I, I hope not, but I mean, probably. In a statement to Vice News, Bitcoin Depot said, quote, it's not 100% avoidable for any company. Bitcoin Depot has outstanding compliance policies and strives to go above and beyond all know your customer and monitoring requirements at its ATMs. Is there like a particular time when you have real heavy traffic at the I machine? Mean, I have people waiting at the door for me some days, and then I have people banging on the door at 8.15 after I've already closed, trying to get in here to use it. So it's, it's all day long. 